So we're here at Eco Beach, which is about an hour and a half south of Broome, and it's a pretty remote region. And behind me we have some scientists who are exhuming a turtle nest. Uh, it's a nest of a flatback turtle. Now all of the hatchlings from, the, from that nest would have actually already gone to the sea. And what we're actually doing here is finding out how many hatchlings might not have actually made it, how many eggs might not have grown to maturity, and why that might have happened. The Australian flatback is an important species for many reasons, primarily I guess because it's only found here in Australia and in Australia's nearby northern waters. It's a tough life for a sea turtle when a hatchling leaves the, the nest and makes its way to the sea. Science uh, and research tells us that only one in 1,000 hatchlings will make it to a fully grown adult. But in the case of a flatback turtle, it might take between 23 to 27 years for that turtle to reach sexual maturity before she will mate for the very first time and then somehow navigate her way back from perhaps thousands of kilometres away to the natal beach that she was born on to commence nesting. What we do with this program as well is that we're able to stay on site through the 45 to 55 night incubation period. Once the nests have naturally hatched, we wait another couple of days and then we go out early morning generally and we would exhume or dig up the nest and we would work out what was the hatch percentage of that nest. So for example, if we had 50 shells, which represent 50 hatchlings running to the sea, and no eggs to open, which didn't develop, then it would be a 100% success rate. The importance of doing nest exhumations is that you find out what the overall health of the nesting beach is. It's excellent to go and tag turtles annually for a, a tag and recapture uh, program or a population count, but all of that means very little if the beach is not, the environment of the beach is not healthy and you're finding 5% of your nests are hatching and making it to the sea.